Uh, I was on the internet the other night and I came across uh, the thing about this next song that uh, uh, that we're going to do. And uh, this is the uh, the history behind this. The youngest of the Bunyan boys, that is Paul's family, Cal S. Bunyan, he built the most wondrous railroad in the world. The Ireland, Jerusalem, Australia, and Southern Michigan line. It took the largest steel mill in the country two years, operating on a schedule of 36-hour days and a nine-day work week to produce just one reel per cow. And each tie was made from an entire redwood tree. The train had 700 cars. It was so long that the conductor rode on a, two, on a twin cylinder super deluxe motorcycle just to check the tickets. And the train went so fast that after it was brought to a dead stop, it was still doing 65 miles an hour. After two months of service, the schedule was speeded up so that the train arrived at its destination an hour before it left the starting point. One day, Cal said to the engineer, give her all she's got. Well, that was the end of the IJA and s and Railroad. The train traveled so fast that the friction melted the steel rails and burned the ties to ashes. When it reached the top of the grade, the engine took off just like an airplane and carried itself and the 700 cars so far into the stratosphere that the law of gravity quit working. Well, that was years and years ago. But the IJA and SM Railroad is still rushing through space, probably making overnight stops between the stars. Old time hobos had a name for this flying Dutchman of a train. They called it a Wabash Cannonball. Thank you. 